السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فرینڈس ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل ان دس ویڈیو وی ہیو دس لیپ ٹاپ چارجر اٹ از ناٹ پاورنگ آن اٹ از ٹوٹلی ڈیڈ واٹ آر دا چیک پوائنٹس ہاؤ وی کین ٹیسٹ ہاؤ وی کین ٹربل شوٹ اٹ لیٹ اسٹارٹ آئی ریموو اٹس ہیٹ سنگ سکریوز اینڈ آئی ریموو ہیٹ سنگ آلریڈی ٹو سیو دا ٹائم اٹ از یوزنگ یو سی تھری ایٹ فور ٹو آئی سی we don't have the original circuit diagram but its sample circuit we have we will follow this sample circuit and we will check it first of all i will connect a series lamp here for safety if you don't have a good practical experience in power electronics never try to repair it before working on this board we must verify the voltage on this dc capacitor never touch this circuit until we are sure that there are no voltage still it have 1.1 volt no problem that's good we can touch it first of all make a good inspection there is no burning no anything first of all we will apply power we will see the lamp so series lamp powered on then off and there is no led indication if the series lamp glows one time and turns off that means the bulk capacitor the main capacitor is taking surge that means the bridge rectifier and this capacitor are good this mosfet is good if the mosfet is short circuit that means it will give a internal short circuit here until now we will verify the voltage here this is our now first test point for dc circuit we will check the dc voltage here set multimeter to dc and check voltage at this it is 326 volt that's nice okay let me do it in this way so that this area is free now our first point that is this capacitor check voltage on this capacitor never touch to any live component when the power is applied check dc voltage at this capacitor it is 324 volt and these are stable if these voltage have too much fluctuation that means there is something wrong now the second test point look at the pwm controller ic that is here and closely to this ic there is a vcc capacitor here in the circuit we, we will see here the vdd pin vcc pin that is pin number 7 we will check this capacitor it is 0.1 microfarad 50 volts or 63 volt that means 50 volt capacitor here what is the value in microfarad sometime it is 47 microfarad and here it is 47 microfarad so we will check the voltage at this capacitor that is connected to pin number 7 dc voltage wow there is no there are no voltage if here are no voltage it is the important feature to turn on this ic if we don't have this voltage these are start up voltage first of all we will give a look on this circuit here we have dc rail voltage then we have positive voltage on this primary here is primary then we have this resistor 332k 332k two resistor in series then we have this capacitor it is voltage dropper resistor and it will drop it will limit the current so limited charging current will provide to this this capacitor to give a start up time so here are no voltage at this capacitor we will check again
we have this positive and this negative 327 volt this is on main DC capacitor and the same negative this negative voltage is negative line this negative line is connected directly here and this point we don't have any voltage these voltage come directly from DC line from this line these are the first important voltage to turn on this IC then we can check pin number 8 if we don't have voltage at pin number 7 so there is no reason that the voltage will be at pin number 8 always discharge this capacitor for more protection DC voltage I discharge you can use any soldering iron test lamp I am using this 100 ohm PTC with this DC rail at this point we have a resistor here at this point to this point this is capacitor this is this blue color resistor that is much closer to this capacitor so this resistor is connected between positive DC rail and the positive side of this capacitor in diagram if we see this is positive rail and it is connected to pin number 7 and the capacitor let's check this resistance ohm mod okay this is capacitor main DC capacitor positive end and check resistor between these two capacitors this resistor is connected here from this point to this point it is pin number seven so this capacitor there is no resistance that means this resistor is open if this IC will not receive the initial startup voltage then this IC will never work it is the first step we can also check either there is switching or no it is also a question from my viewers that how we can test either the IC is switching it is our first condition if this voltage startup voltage are not available then this IC will not start we can check the, the same voltage AC voltage in the transformer primary between this point and this point there are no voltage either DC either AC no DC voltage no DC, AC voltage and we can check this DC voltage between MOSFET source and drain it is 328 volt DC that means there is no drive this is drive line at the gate so that means startup voltage are not present due to absence of this startup resistor Now we will remove this startup resistor from here. When we work with a sequence, we can find the fault very easily. Because in electronics, there must be a sequence in troubleshooting. And this is just only when we understand what is the circuit, how it is working. Always try to find the SMPS controller IC, which is any IC. Here it is using 3846. Any IC which is being used here, download its sample circuits. Now this resistance I removed it. This resistor is open. So this resistance is open. That is the reason it was it is not providing voltage to the IC. Now if this resistance is open, might be there are some reasons. The first reason might be this resistance is bad. The second thing might be this capacitor is short circuit. Might be this SMPS controller IC is internally fail. To check the capacitor, first of all check capacitor here. It is 45 microfarad that is 47 on the body. That means 45 microfarad this capacitor is good. 
Now we can check the resistance. It is connect one lead to ground and connect one lead here. It is 235 kilo ohms. That means the IC is not short internally. It is we are checking between ground and pin number seven. If the IC is bad, at that time here we will find short circuit. Now we can say the IC is good. Just only we have to replace this resistor. If we see its color code, it is brown, gray, black. Orange, brown, gray, one, eight, then it is zero, one, eight, zero, then it is orange, three zeros, one, eight, zero, K, one hundred eighty kilo ohm resistance, then the last band that is red, it is plus minus two percent, so we need around one hundred eighty kilo ohm resistance. I have this resistance here, it is two hundred something let's remove it and then we will check it this high value resistance is used most of the time to control the current it is around okay it is 311 310 kilo ohms that's good and we will connect external to see the result we will connect it externally because we are using some high value resistance if we will use high value resistance that means it will good because its power rating is less than the original resistance to no problem because we are using now the slow start it will charge this capacitor slowly so it is safe we can use it it is just only for trial purpose if the power supply will start then we will replace with the original value 180k plus minus 2% with the same wattage I will apply power that's wonderful this power supply is now turned on we, we can check the voltage it is using KA3842 or UC3842 now it is giving 12 volt at the VCC capacitor here before this with this resistor it was not turning on it was not powering on now we can check the voltage across this MOSFET it is 362 volt before this it was just only 330 volt I am checking voltage across this MOSFET source to drain DC voltage across this capacitor 319 volt DC voltage across this MOSFET 360 volt nice it means it is switching at this point at at this end we are taking 360 volt the basically on the capacitor 330 that means it is it is switching and the collapsing magnetic field is giving stress on this this MOSFET so it means it is switching before this there were just only the capacitor voltage we can check this optocoupler optocoupler have 1.42 volts stable nice optocoupler input side 1 volt stable in this 1 volt input at this side this optocoupler have hidden information of the voltage regulation that is the feedback 
So in any SLPS, either it is 3842384546, which is installed in the primary side and it is using feedback voltage. First, the first step after testing these voltage, we have to monitor the VCC pin. If we have VCC pin at pin voltage at pin number 7, let's check voltage at pin number 7, it is 12 volt. When we have 12 volt, then we will find 5 volt regulated, that is the output of this IC. If it this IC will receive 5 volt and this IC is not generating 5 volt, that means the IC is bad. At that time, we must replace this IC or might be sometime there is a capacitor if this capacitor is bad that is filtration capacitor in that case this IC will also fail to start this 5 volt reference for any 3842434345 IC we must check the reference voltage that are here pin number 8 if 5 volt are available that means this IC will switch either the feedback is missing no problem this IC will go in restart mode ok now we can check the output voltage across this output rectifier DC voltage it is 19.6 volt we can check the voltage at output terminal it means this IC started working the problem that this resistor was unserviceable it is open this resistance is open we can check the multimeter is good so now this resistance is open so it was causing to fail to start this IC I hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question kindly let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh